This is unbelievable. A baritone guitar with a 30 inch scale length. It costs $170 and it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. Firefly Guitars have done it again. This is their new baritone guitar model, and it might be the most affordable baritone guitar model on the market, but despite that, it's got some really, really cool features and a great sound. Now look, I've got a feeling this guitar is gonna sell out really, really quickly, so get one while you can, and please accept my apologies in advance if you try to get one and it is already sold out sometime in the future. Okay, so before we get into anything else, some of you might be wondering, what's a baritone guitar? Well, a baritone guitar is a guitar with a much longer scale length than a traditional guitar. And the scale length kind of being the length of the string, but in particular, it's the distance from the nut up here down to the bridge. And a typical guitar like a Fender Stratocaster or Gibson Les Paul, the scale length is around 25 inches. In fact, PRS guitars have a scale length that is exactly 25 inches, but they're usually between 24 and three quarters to 25 and a half inches. But the scale length on this guitar is 30 inches. And with the longer scale length, you have longer strings, which enables you to have lower tunings while still maintaining the same string tension as you would with a traditional guitar. So the tuning on this guitar is down to a low B, so it goes from a low B to a high B, and the low B string is the same as a seven string guitar. But of course, this is a six string guitar, and you can achieve the lower tuning with a lighter gauge of strings because of the longer scale length. And it's kind of funny, you can sort of think of baritone guitars the way you would think about a baritone singer, right? Like with singers, you have tenor, baritone, and bass. And so you could think of a standard electric guitar as a tenor guitar, then you have your baritone guitar, and then you have your bass guitar. Now spec-wise, we've got some really cool features on here, especially for such an affordable guitar. So it's a uh, mahogany body, and of course a maple neck and a rosewood fretboard. We've got these nice block perloid inlays. I already talked about the long scale length, but they put a, a very nice simple bridge on here. It's a string through, right? So you've got the string pearls on the back there, and you can adjust all the saddles independently, but you don't have any kind of springs or whammy stuff to mess around with. A couple of generic humbuckers in here, and then we've got the, uh, the white binding going all the way uh, up and down the neck, and the reverse headstock, which I love. Uh, but then we have the frets. Let me tell you about the frets. These are these rounded ball-in frets that are becoming really popular on a lot of the uh, kind of the, some of the more recent brands that have come out. Uh, and like Firefly, some of their guitars have the traditional frets and some of their newer models have these rounded ball-in frets. So these are the rounded ball-in frets and they are stainless steel frets. Now, these are not real big frets. They're kind of on the kind of small to medium size but they're finished so, so nicely with these really, really nice smooth fret ends. It just, it just makes these necks really, really comfortable and responsive. Now, one more thing about the body that uh, is cool that I really love. The shape of the body with the longer upper horn here, and you've got this sort of extra weight and size on this side of the body, it, it makes the guitar balance really well. And you would think, and, and sometimes with baritone guitars, this is an issue, because you have a longer neck than you normally would, and there's more weight in the neck than there would be on a traditional electric guitar, sometimes you could have neck dive problems. But they chose a body style that eliminates that problem, and this guitar actually balances very well. Okay, so it's a cool looking, very long guitar, but the best thing about this guitar, aside from the price, 
is the way it sounds. So let's go ahead and get into the demo. But real quick, guys, as always, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new guitars, especially affordable stuff, and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. I'm going to use my Fender GTX 100 for the amplifier. We're going to start out with some clean stuff so you can hear, you know, the different pickup positions and just hear natural sound of the guitar down in this, this lower tuning that the baritone guitar has. And then we're going to get into the heavier stuff, which is, I think, where the guitar really comes alive. So let's go ahead and plug this in and listen to how it sounds. Okay guys, now let's get into some higher gain tones. And the thing that is really interesting about this is I actually prefer the high gain or distorted sound of this guitar over a seven string guitar, even though you know it's, it's tuned, at least the lower strings are tuned the same. Something about the longer strings combined with the lighter string gauge, it just gives the notes a different attack or, or something like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> Okay guys, so one of the, uh, the big questions I think that people have with these baritone guitars or any guitar that has a different scale length is how is the transition between playing a traditional guitar and then playing this when it has the longer scale length? Because the distance between each fret is bigger on this guitar. So um, it's really not a very rough transition. In fact, I would say that it's easier 
to go from a traditional six string to a baritone six string, it's easier to do that than it is to go from a six string to a seven string guitar. And I think actually when you get up into the higher frets here, it's actually easier, right? Because you've got more room for your fingers. You, you never feel as cramped up here as you do uh, on the high frets, you know, when you get up to the like 20 plus frets, right, of a traditional guitar. Now, that being said, yeah, when you get down here, if you're playing in like F or F sharp or G or something, and you're doing scales, you know, three note per string stuff, I mean, you got to stretch out quite a bit, for sure. Um, but, you know, if anything, that just encourages you to have good hand positioning and that kind of thing to get those wide stretches. Now, I would say that other than having to get used to stretching out a little bit more, uh, the rest of the guitar is very, very easy to play. And these frets make such a big difference. Now, the neck is, um, honestly, it feels like a pretty standard C shape. It's a gloss finish, which is not my favorite, but look, for 170 bucks, I'm not gonna complain. I can take some sandpaper to it and cut the gloss down a little bit, not a big deal. And if you screw it up, again, 170 bucks. But yeah, just having these nice frets on here and a very familiar feeling neck profile makes a really big difference in how easy this guitar is to play. And yeah, the rest of the guitar, I mean, the no-nonsense bridge, very simple controls, three-way toggle, single volume, single tone. Not much that they can really screw up with that, and everything works as it should, and you know, the controls feel like they're in a good, in uh, good positions and that kind of stuff. As you would imagine, with this guitar being a little bit bigger than a traditional guitar, like longer, right? It weighs a little bit more than, I think, the same guitar on a traditional scale length. So I weighed this one and it was just a hair over eight pounds. It was like 8.12 pounds. So it's, yeah, I guess a little bit heavier than, you know, a, a traditional Strat or something like that. But it's still, I mean, you know, there's less Pauls that weigh more than this guitar and those are still at a traditional scale length. Also guys, I love the reverse headstock. I really like reverse headstocks. Uh, I've got a few, you know, quite a few reverse headstock guitars, and I love that they went with this on here. And I, I actually, I really hope that Firefly will make like a traditional Strat type guitar, uh, maybe like a, a Hum single single or something like that with reverse headstock. That would be really cool. But guys, what do you think about this guitar? Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of in love with it. Um, I already like these body shapes because they balance so well. And there's just something about the tone of this guitar and the fact that you can, you can play seven string riffs and seven string tunings without playing a seven string guitar, which I think is really cool for a guitar player like me that's, you know, traditionally I mostly play six string guitars. And if I want to transition to a lower tuning, um, but not go to a seven string, I can just grab this. And you guys, I mean, $170 for this guitar. I mean, get out of town. There's gonna be links down in the video description below for everything I was talking about in the video, the guitar, the amplifier, and I'll put stuff down there for my social media and my instructional videos, all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you very soon.